Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. No, 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 no. It's not that. It is Phoenix Point. Uh, but still a good game. Uh, we are continuing the blind playthrough of uh, Legendary Difficulty. And I think we're going getting towards uh, the end of uh, the game. I'm still fending off the continuous attacks of aliens left, right, center, and wherever else you think they can attack. In the meantime, no new equipment that we could use in order to upgrade. I think we're pretty much uh, just completely stacked with uh, what I think is the best equipment in the game. At least I haven't seen uh, much more upgrade potential. And we've uh, invested all of our points into more hit points. So let's deploy the squad and see how it's going. Good, here we go. Ooh, look at that. We started right in the middle of it. Uh, one of the, the quicker missions. <clears throat> Buffing everybody up. Before charging in. Wow. Lots of enemies. Let's go into rapid clearance mode. One down. Another one down. Slowly but surely we're moving up. Well, this is going to be an utter stomp yet again. They don't have a lot of uh, space to move. And at the same time... We can just run over them. Okay, so... Just for shits and giggles... Uh, one. 36 is what he needs. Wow, that's a lot. Two. Nice little kill. down to 32 uh, can we nah I was thinking charge in hand over more actions but there is an easier way of doing that because if they cluster up like this we can actually kill, uh, get enough action points out of them completely free moves up and it's over an action the eggs are super helpful for us Very nice. Okay, cool. So, same deal. One. 
and two. And we got a paralyzed one. Fantastic. Okay, um, dash up, strength continues to move up, hand over, but I don't think that we could, um, we could get the X down. Let's just try that real quick. I don't know, maybe we'll get the bonus uh, out of it. Who knows? I'm just thinking about all of uh, the sweet, sweet mutagen that we can harvest. I think that's it. Easy peasy five minute uh, mission. It was one turn overall. Let's see if we get two or three captives out of that. Potentially two, but who knows. All right, so. Yeah, we got two Arthrons and that was it. We're a little bit more favored by everyone. And now that we have done that. Helios five and six actually fly over to Europe here. Got one more invasion happening here. North America is safe again. And we got enough to finally build another grenade launcher, which appears to be one of the single best weapons. We have the review we had it oftentimes, and it was just so good. It doesn't even need ammunition, which is typically the cost costly part about grenade uh, launchers. Just straight up for free. I was skeptical at first when it came to the uh, antediluvian ruin weapons it's a lot uh, to ask for to just go through so many hoops but the weapons themselves are absolutely crazy like the level of power is unparalleled Specifically, the fact that they don't require any ammunition whatsoever. That makes them very, very good. Like, we're <clears throat> not really having any problems with uh, resources anymore. Wonderful. The different factions seem to build less resources nowadays be uh, because apparently the war is too expensive for them
Uh, yeah, well, that's one of uh, these missions that I would want to do. Mendicore 4 and 8 uh, is one of our lower ranking teams. Do we, by now, have all of uh, the weapons not even close? But uh, we can maybe start giving some of uh, the weapons over. So we got that sniper rifle here with Fire of Hate. Whilst we're at it, um, putting some more ammunition there. And we got burning grenades. Well, that's fine. Acid and fire, that goes well together. And we got even some viruses here. That's fine as well. I wonder, instead of the spiders, if I should uh, get the Redeemer up and running. Redeemer isn't something that I've uh, wildly used so far. The damage was meh and it really didn't work out so well. We wanted acid grenades. Good. Vincento has always done a great job. I like the setup, everything. He just had a really good setup going for him. Purification grenade. We got acid over here. We got fire over here. I, th I still think that the fire grenades are better. Um, so let's make it a partially fire, partially uh, um, acid kind of team. Was that the virus weapon? Yes. Good, virus weapon it is. I mean, the Warhammer is better, but we wanted to test something new. So let's go with the virus kit. Got acid, got everything going. Very good. Um, we really don't have a great upgrade here. We could uh, give you <coughs> a sniper. But that would be quite an overload. <coughs> This is where our new ammunition hopefully is going to shine. Oh yeah, I like it. And we have Rebuke, but this is the like fourth or fifth team. We're not uh, going to give the good old antediluvian weapons to them until the second team is fully fleshed out and that is hasn't happened yet. Bit of fire on top of what um, Nick has norma normal uh, mm, rockets, acid, and fire. Okay, cool. Barbor. That's the shredding shotgun. And I think we need to appreciate that the shredding um, portion is actually really, really, really good. Um, unfortunately, there is no shotgun with acid, so we'll just treat the shredding shotgun as if it would be acid. And to uh, change it up a bit, an acid grenade. What's this, uh, Phoenix shotgun? No. Unfortunately, Barbour is still one of uh, my favorite characters, the first one who moved over to us. 
Polina needed to uh, be uh, the physical weapon, that is true. Uh, the uh, mother of uh, the ancients. Couple of grenades. Yep, I like what I'm seeing. Okay, so uh, as for the point distribution. Uh, Mark for death is good. Might want to get that. Uh, the self-defense specialist is what we wanted to get here. Vincento. Well, I mean, hit points aren't bad either. 200 is okay, but more on the low end. Greta, second class would be good. Uh, single class berserkers, at least I think, are not that great. Um, mind control is good, panic is good, mind sense isn't bad either. We'll go, go with mind control. Nick has that big fat weapon that I definitely want to test out. Bonus accuracy. Well, that's not bad either. I think we're okay with Barbor at this point. And Polina wait, still waits for the second class. All right, good enough. Let's deploy. All right, we landed. Whom are we fighting against? Oh, New Jericho. And we landed in the middle, a spot that I hate the most. Let's first of all give everyone a And do we have a technician high enough to give us shields? No, we don't. That stinks. We got a disciple of a new berserker there. Let's get them under control. Very good. The site here seems to be more or less clear. A new berserker climbs up. And so much for having a clear uh, site. Good. Good question. I. There is no great play here. Ready to rock. Oh wow. Okay. Well. The armadillo is a problem. I'll be right there. Rolling. I'll be right there. But the shotgun is so inaccurate. We need to use it on something big. Could have also used the grenade. Against the new Jericho Heavy. So, what are we going to do? Could move to here, then war scream. That's not the worst idea. Let's 
Let's switch onto the shield because that gives us some extra cover. On my way. Continuing to move, bar bar. Storm is detected. Good, we're charging up. Taking aim. Could just get rid of uh, the weapon. I think that's the right play. Well, see you later, alligator. Now all they have is a measly grenade. All right, Barbour moves up, has that side under control. Good. Uh, deployment of a turret. <coughs> Where do we want to place that? We stay in cover for now. And place the turret right here. Again, from next turn onwards, that should be very helpful. Oh, oh, wow, I have not seen that. Well, this changes a lot. Good. Let's charge in. Polina will go to them in melee, but not right now. Moving over. How? Oh, yeah, well, that's a very clear line of uh, sight. Should have maybe just uh, instead used uh, mm, the armor break. Slowly getting our willpower back, so we'll stay in range. Quick aim. Need a better shot next time. Yeah, let's stay in range so that we can recoup uh, the will points. Um, so that sniper rifle. Ready, sort of. At 80 Virofage is um, added to standard damage <coughs> for Pandorans and mutated targets only. Uh, okay. Ready. Not exactly what I wanted, but okay.
Hmm. We need to get closer. We do have more melee or short ranged uh, targets. At the same time, this flank here is completely open. Like the wind. Here they are. And so Vincento is helping to support that flank. And turn. Let's go, baby. No way. Oh boy, we gotta deal with this guy. I already hate fire, but Amadillos with fire You're rocket launchers, that is crazy. Time to kill these guys. Taking the planet one step at a time. The fire really prevents us from doing much. You're gonna love this. And we need to deal with the snipers. This is getting completely out of hand. How can he even shoot with just one, uh, with just two actions left Taking over? Is the flamer really just requiring? Two? Uh. Okay, wow, we're that's why I hate starting in the middle of the map. Uh. Good. Let's do the right thing. If we move, oh, it's going to be a problem. Slowly but surely getting there. We can't just go the, down there. Oh my lord. Good move up. This is going to make all the difference. This actually could make all the difference. Oh, oh, me down. Nice little burn. Stop me. Okay, so that side is injured. We need to deal with a sniper, but other than that, we're actually okay. Angle. Very good. Can't immediately shoot again. Maybe when getting some more willpower from somewhere else.
Good, where is the sniper that uh, that can be panicked? Over here. Well, that's... Hmm. Not the worst, not the best either. I think... In the position that we find ourselves in, we gotta be a bit careful. I'd rather deploy two spider drones. Although, no, that's that would be a stupid idea. We're making sure that he is taken out because the panic removes an entire turn. I need. We're healing ourselves. And then we're healing ourselves. Can't repair our, our mechanical arms, so it is what it is. We're going for the snipers first. Kratos in the open. That's never good. Heals up. Good. So, how about moving over here? Don't cry. Return fire also triggers with that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Barely could hit the helmet, that's not helpful. Can't really charge somewhere, not yet, and Frida. To be honest, let's just overwatch. Uh, we've used him. We've used him. And end of turn. Oh. Before instinct, ready to fight. Good. Hopefully, the sniper down there will waste his turn healing his friend instead of doing something.
Cool. We killed the weapon. <laughs> that was helpful. This guy will die. That's 140 damage per round. Damn it. Good, let's move up. That's a lot of damage, I like it. Advancing. Continuing to move up. We're doing a couple of kills here. Barbour closes uh, the flank on this other side. Removes 60 armor from the front. Fantastic. shot and now finally we can use the new weapon i am itching to do that wow 100 damage 400 asset which means very soon the amardillo will be non-existent let's just get this over with Okay, calm. This better work. Takes our head wound. We calm. Oh, that was okay. Oh, really get probably uh, more uh, willpower back. So we can start to heal ourselves here. Polina moves up. This guy is almost dead. Reloading and whilst we're at it, everybody needs to heal themselves because the VVA arms are gone. Uses a med kit, pop up. But this side here is still being a bit problematic. <laughs> Only eight points of damage. Let's stack some acid. Actions. Let's see what the rest is doing. Target missed. Focus. Reason before instinct.
Very good. Okay, cool. Identifying target. All right. Um We are no longer uh, frenzied. That's a slight problem. Dashing. Barbo moves over in the hopes of soon getting a frenzy. Catch me if you can. These cycles are moving up as well. Polina kills just to uh, to reduce the willpower of everyone. Good, we're back in action. More kills, false fire, overwatches, I think this guy is the last one standing. And Vincento moves up. Considerably harder mission than I would have expected. Part of the problem is we started in the middle, another part of the problem is we fought against a multitude of enemies. Solid kill, love it. Okay, cool. Born ready. Our two disciples have fought valiantly, and so far, no, none of them have died. and I think generally speaking we're okay slightly moves up retrieves the turret and begins to overwatch end of turn Into the shotgun. Shotgun to the face, still a valid tactic in this game. Good. Let's re remember to build the VVA arms. That is, I, I hate when uh, they are going down because they are hard to replace, it takes a while to build them and they are re resource intensive. But they are also like monstrously large, uh, so. 
Okay, a bit post um, post mission debriefing. OBS still doesn't like uh, Phoenix Point a lot. It starts to crash uh, nowadays. Finished the mission and found out something super important. If you put um, aircrafts on these nodes, they actually multiply with uh, the normal resources. So just for having this uh, one aircraft here, we're already like doubling the protein income, which means I will do the same uh, for the living crystal quarries and for the aricalcum so that we have essentially 200 per uh, per dot and that will <clears throat> mean that we can build uh, so many new weapons uh, that uh, the second team and even the other teams should very soon be equipped so looking forward for that other than that uh, if you liked the defense uh, think about supporting the channel and leave a like down below and see you in the next episode bye bye guys